Hey guys, Mark here. It's Tuesday night. I'm doing a little extra trading tonight because we're getting a lot of movement. Now let's look at this chart, which you should all be familiar with. This is NASDAQ futures. And this is the down, down swing that I've been pointing out for the last couple of weeks. Down below the 10, the 20, the 10 crosses the 20, and then all the way down toward the 200. And finally we get this big move shooting down below the 200 on kind of an extreme move, which causes buying in the opposite direction. Now we're up and we, we were up for most of the day. Then we came back down at the end of the day. Uh, and a lot of people thought, okay, this is the, this is a down move continuation, but you gotta be patient because after hours today, we've got an up move of 1.9% in NASDAQ futures. I suspect we'll have an update tomorrow and maybe a couple updates because although this down this is a downtrend and I think the downtrend will hold notice the blue trend line here that is one or two more days of up moving possibly and that trend line would hold so it doesn't have to go up to there but it wouldn't be uh it wouldn't be anything to surprise me if it did and also this 20 uh when you're in a when you're in a trend it doesn't mean it's not going to cross that 20 notice here this uptrend crosses the 20 and then comes back up. That's fairly typical. So we could see that happen here as the 20 is moving down, crosses the 20, reaches this blue line and then turns. That's one um, possibility and that's what I'm favoring right now. Unless we get some bad news, um, some more bad news, which decides this, so that this thing just keeps going down at the pace it's going. But trends usually don't go down in a straight line. and. Uh, the market generally tries to fool as many people as it can. So even though this is a downtrend, it's going to fool some people into thinking it's an uptrend. And if you're a short term trader like me, you can take advantage of some of that. I'm doing actually pretty well tonight um, and just kind of trading the if you look at it on the 10 minute or the hourly, it's a nice move up, right? So easy trade to catch that if you're a short-term uh, technical trader. So I'm doing a couple of things. One, I'm trading the short-term. Two, I'm watching the downtrend and planning on trading that. And also I'm looking to get into some stocks that I missed getting into down at this bottom here, like Nvidia. I do think I'm gonna be able to get it under 100 and probably under 90. Um, it would have to go down to the 200 day moving average, which is 80, and that would be a really good buy. So we'll see what happens there. That's what I'm hoping to do long term. I did um, buy some silver futures tonight. I love silver futures because you can buy a thousand coins or, you know, five thousand dollars. And uh, and it looks like we're having a little bit more of an update. Made a couple hundred on that. And uh, so that's where we're at right now. Likewise, in Forex tonight, I've been trading the dollar yen to the upside. Caught this move. Um, why the upside? Because it's going where the market is going. The market is going up right now. And so this has been meandering its way up. These are three hour bars here on the right. And I'm just, I like to follow the three hour bars on, on Forex. And it was, it was nice because you had this deep dive here on the RSI. Um, and from there we get a little bit of a bounce. Now, is it going to go back in the other direction when the stock market turns? I do think so. However, there's some the, the Japanese yen is weak fundamentally, right? The Japanese are struggling. They're in a recession. Their interest rates are still low comparative to other countries. Um, but the Japanese are pulling back. They're selling their shares of stock and they're pulling it and putting it into yen. And I don't think that has stopped yet. That's called the reverse carry trade. And if that continues, you'll get more market moves down and this thing will start to turn and head back down as well. So I'll be watching for that. Um, the other thing is the US Mexican peso. And I told you this is a good gauge at if people are panicking or not. And you can see it's, it's headed back down, which means people's panic is starting to ease. And uh, we're, we're seeing that in in the same sort of breath as we're seeing this up move tonight. So everything is pretty consistent right right tonight, bullish. And it looks like it will remain bullish tomorrow unless we get some bad news. So what kind of news can screw this up? Well, of course, there's the geo geopolitical stuff. Um, 
Iran, Israel, there's Ukraine and Russia. Both those situations look pretty bad and can get worse at any moment. Um, but aside from that, we do have earnings. So tomorrow there's Disney, looks like CVS, Monster, Hilton, a couple. There's not a huge amount of earnings. It'll be interesting to see about Disney because have you guys been to Disneyland lately? It's expensive, especially if you have to fly out like from Utah and get a hotel. And as the, there's lines, they fill the place up. They're a little too greedy, if you ask me. Um, you're waiting in line most of the time. I don't like it. I'll be happy if I never go back. But it'd uh, be interesting to see if other people are feeling like I do about that. And uh, so I'm going to watch that one. But we did have some earnings today, the, the most notable being this uh, super microcomputer because you know the chips are in the news, AI is coming. Is all of the hype measuring up? Is it, is it selling right now? That's a, that's a question a lot of people are answering. And unfortunately, the answer right now is no. Um, they missed earnings, missed earnings pretty good. 763 was the estimate, 625 was the actual. And look what the stock did after hours, negative 13%. That's why the NASDAQ started to go down after the close today. Um, but for whatever reason, wow, it's up 1.24% now. So it's, it's going strong. Like I said, the market likes to fool people. And I think a lot of people got sold on the idea that, yeah, this is a downtrend. And to, to a lot of people, downtrend means down every day. You know, I better short. I better get in fear of missing out. Markets don't work that way. They bounce between averages and trend lines. And so be patient. The market will go down, but uh, it's not going to do it all at once. One reason I think the market will be up tomorrow is because there's no big news. There's no economic news barring any of the geopolitical stuff. Uh, on Thursday, we do get a look again at the jobs numbers and the jobs numbers have been getting progressively weak. I expect that that will continue. So I'll be looking to see if this trend line here that started in uh, January, February continues to go up. If we get more jobless claims than expected on Thursday, that could be the, the start of the move back down. All right, so actually it looks like we've got a little breaking news here. Uh, it came out about an hour ago. Um, yen plunges, Nikkei soars after Bank of Japan. Uchida says we will not raise rates when the markets are unstable. Aha. So that explains this. Um, the yen is, is getting pounded here and the dollar yen is rising. Um, so remember now, you look at this if you look at this big picture here the yen was getting destroyed and you can see this thing going up and up and up and it was causing inflation in japan and the japanese government said to the bank of japan hey you guys got to do something you guys got to raise rates so they raised the rate uh just a little bit but it was enough to bring the yen back up and the dollar yen started to fall but then it fell way beyond what anyone including myself thought it would go and it, it caused a reverse carry trade. That is what I was talking about earlier, where the Japanese had to sell all their stocks and holdings all around the world. And they do have many holdings all around the world. And that caused the, uh, you know, that caused the yen to strengthen and this thing started to feed on itself. So now you get the news where they're like, oops, we went a little too far. We're not going to raise rates anymore. So the natural reaction is for this thing to start to head back up. Okay, so what will win here, that or the carry trade? Will the carry trade continue? I don't know. We're going to have to just watch this one, but that's very, very interesting. And that's probably why the markets are up. And that trumps the, uh, the news about the um, super micro. So that's where we're at now with the NASDAQ up now. Wow, 1.27% in futures. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a strong day today unless there's any kind of news. I don't see really anything other than um, the job stuff coming out on Thursday to interfere with this. So unless there's some geopolitical stuff going on, I wouldn't short just yet because you'd be moving into this uh, little bit of euphoria that's occurring right now. So to summarize, I think we're going to get an update on this euphoria. We are in a downtrend, but we've got some space to go higher for maybe another day or two. 
I think uh, this up mood will continue, start to fool some people into thinking this is a, a new uptrend, and then boom, something will happen, some kind of news or event which will cause the downswing to occur. But I don't think it's going to happen tonight. It's just my opinion. If you like this kind of forecasting, let me know. Just like the video or something, and I'll do more of it.